All right, we're going to be talking about cells. Why are cells important and what exactly are cells? And I like this little comic here. Remember, whenever you feel sad, just remember there are billions of cells in your body and all they care about is you. And that's actually wrong. That should be trillions of cells and all they care about is you. So you're never alone. All right, let's talk about cells. You've probably heard of these before. Cells are the smallest unit of life. To give you some perspective on that, here's kind of a comparison. Uh, this is the width of a human hair. There's a grain of salt. Uh, there's a human egg, uh, women obviously only, uh, the largest cell in the human body. Uh, here's about the limit to what you can discern with your eye. Anything smaller than that, you've got to start using a microscope. Uh, there's a width of paper. There is a skin cell, significantly smaller than human hair, smaller than what you can see with your naked eye. To see that small, you pretty much always need a microscope. Now, this is not to say there are there is nothing smaller than a cell. There are many things that are smaller than cells. Atoms, molecules, proteins, etc. Lots of things are smaller than cells. The only difference is they are not alive. If you get smaller than a cell, it's not going to be alive. All right, so let's talk big picture about cell theory. And just a quick reminder, theory does not mean guess. A theory is a well-supported hypothesis that's been very, very well tested and isn't wrong yet. All right, so first part of cell theory. Every living thing is composed of cells. That tree is made out of trillions and trillions of tiny cells. That is actually a cork tree. One of the first things that they ever discovered was made out of cells. Here's the first drawing of it. Uh, yes, the cork that goes into the wine that you can't drink bottles. Uh, that cork tree is made out of cells. You are an animal. Yes, you are, not just in the lunchroom. You are made out of cells as well. Uh, we are going to be looking at the inside of your cheek very soon, and you'll be able to see you are made out of cells. Everything is made out of cells, not just you. Cells are the basic unit of structure and function. By structure, I mean the stuff that you build with, and by function, I mean the stuff that does stuff. Your muscles are made out of muscle cells. Your brain is made out of brain cells. Your liver, take good care of it, is made out of liver cells. So everything that builds your body and does stuff in your body is made out of cells. Right now, you are thinking with these brain cells. Hopefully you're thinking, not just, you know, like zombie-like listening. Finally, all cells come from other or pre-existing cells. Cells don't just pop out of nowhere. They have to come from other cells that will actually divide in a process we call mitosis. More on that later. So, big picture, everything is made out of cells. Cells do everything and build everything and they all come from other cells. So let's talk about the main types of cells. We have two main types of cells. We have the prokaryotes and the eukaryotes. You can already see right here one difference. Which one's bigger? If you said prokaryotes, you're wrong and you can't see very well. Prokaryotes are obviously smaller, anywhere from 10 to 100 times smaller than eukaryotes. Let's zoom in and take a look. As I mentioned, prokaryotes are very small, very simple organisms. Examples, bacteria. Like if I said prokaryotes and the first thing that popped to your mind was bacteria, you're probably overeducated and I don't know why you're taking a high school biology class. But either way, that's a good thing to think about. Bacteria, prokaryotes. Prokaryotes, bacteria. Like if you are associating those two in your head, you're off to a wonderful start. Prokaryotes are simple with no nucleus. They have very few organelles, which are known as cell organs. Here you can see we have uh, just the basic structure of a prokaryote. It's got a cell wall, some ribosomes, protein-making factories, a cell membrane, and DNA. I like to think of it as a water balloon. It's got kind of a membrane on the outside and a bunch of squishy stuff on the inside, and there's not that much to them. They're very small, very simple, but of course they get the job done. Taking a look at the much larger eukaryotes, they are large, complex cells. You can see the size difference here. There's our tiny, simple prokaryotes. Here's our much larger eukaryotes. A lot more going on to them, hence the need to be larger. Examples of eukaryotes. All plants, all animals, yeah, that's you, and all fungi, or fungi, are eukaryotes. 
you can see here they're not quite as simple. This is like a pizza with everything on it. Anchovies, mushrooms. Who likes anchovies and mushrooms? Weirdos. Um, green pepper, sauce, you name it. It's the deluxe that got everything on there. Lots of organelles we'll be learning about later on. They have the nucleus, that's the brain of the cell, the main focus where all the instructions come from, and lots of other small organelles. Our two main types of eukaryotes, remember these are the ones with the nucleus, animals and plants. Fungi are also on there as well, but we're not going to be testing on them right now. All animals are made out of cells, all plants are made out of cells, but those cells are somewhat different. They both still have a nucleus. You can probably see that right there. There's the animal cell nucleus, there's the plant cell nucleus, but they have additional little things that differentiate them. Animal cells have some things that plant cells don't. Plant cells have some things that animal cells don't. We'll be learning about those later on. So to reiterate, two main types, the prokaryotes and the eukaryotes. Eukaryotes can be further subdivided. But again, the big, big thing to remember is that prokaryotes do not have a nucleus and eukaryotes do have a nucleus. If that's all you remember, you won't pass the test, but that will help you on the test. You, you need to know more than that, but that's the big thing. Prokaryotes, no nucleus. Eukaryotes, nucleus.